Do you think that you were possessed? Objection! Concern. Holy shit. She did a TikTok social experiment <laughs> on you. Any legitimate bishop that is willing to do that will also not let you film it. So when I described her, he kind of freaked out on the inside. He was like, how did you see my mom? Because she killed herself right there. Has anyone considered trying to help her like cross over? We have like the hazards on and everything with like, the driver's side door is open. And as we're walking back to the car, the radio like jumps its volume. Yeah. I'm so proud, you know, of how far you've come when talking to Satan. Just, I you wish really my matured. family talked to me like this. And what about your husband? What does he believe? <laughs> my dad's an attorney. I was really just seeing if she was single. I oh knew my god! Say that. I knew it. Will you hold my gum? <laughs> we know what you look like with your shirt off, and if I have ever forced you to do anything, work harder in the gym. Oh, wow. Yeah! It's definitely made me live my life differently because I'm not scared of what happens when you do pass away. You feel like the devil deserves a second chance? Even God didn't do that. I, I would love to do this for the rest of my life. You know, I started doing it when I was a little kid and didn't know why. And I definitely think that, you know, there is a reason that I got into it accidentally so young. Welcome to the first ever Haunted Homies episode. And this one is live from the Whaley House in San Diego with our friends Matt and Corbin. And this is just the first show of 25 weekly episodes that we have coming at you for the Haunted Homies podcast live show. Yeah, and get ready, guys, because they get a little crazy, I, I do yeah. have to say. Every single show got better and better and better from the way we filmed it, our audio, our lighting, to the games we started. What the fuck? No way. <laughs> no way. Um... <laughs> Dude, I come, dude, I'm tearing up. I come in here every day. Nothing's ever fallen. I move furniture in here. Nothing has ever fallen. I'm in here all the time. Nothing has ever fallen. New episodes every Monday. Uh, we love you guys a lot, and we're so excited that you get to see this and experience this with us. Um, what the fuck was that? Why did that just... Why did the haunted item just fall on me? come in here every day and nothing's ever happened it's only when you're in here it's you i'm leaving you i'm out you that's perfect you know what you know what that's perfect because this whole episode is about whether i'm not i'm possessed and i think it's you and i think it's always been you and i think you're the reason all the bad things happen it's never me it's not my debbie boxes it's you and i think that proves it nothing has ever fallen in here until now enjoy the episode enjoy the episode Hey, wow. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. It's it's our first ever yep. live show podcast. We don't even have a name for this yet. <laughs> Just <laughs> so you guys know, we actually do not have a name. We're going to decide in like a week or so for this. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give it a week or two and then we'll figure it out. But I, we genuinely appreciate all of you being here. Um, I know a lot of you have come together, but I hope before you leave tonight, you kind of all know you're from the same area. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for any other ghost hunting buddies, like talk to each other. That's, that's why we're doing this. It's not so we can meet you and you can meet us. We're hoping that you all can meet each other too and go ghost hunting together. Maybe split costs in some locations that cost a little bit to rent out and investigate. So sincerely, I hope that's what happens at the end of the night beyond this show. Oh, dude, me too. No, we literally have like a room full of ghost hunters right now. Like now raise 8%. your hand if you haven't and you also do not want to ghost hunt. <laughs> 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 Why? Talk loudly. I'm scared. Mm. So is he, but he's done it a ton. Yeah, you just got to get a friend to make you, you know, and even though you cry <laughs> and you get scared and you don't want to do it, just get a friend to just yell at you <laughs> and just yell at you again. Yeah. And then yell at you again. And then you'll ghost hunt. It's, yeah. It, that's how it happens. You know what's fun is that's a perfect segue to who our guests are for tonight <laughs> in a conversation that I think is long overdue. Oh, boy. About the channel. Because I'm sure you guys have all seen it or you guys have commented it mm -hmm. where everyone's like, Elton bullies everyone. <laughs> and maybe I do. But also. But it's good content. But also. It's good content. But also, like, I, they're not on a leash. 
Yeah. You know, they can leave whenever they want. They can do what they want. Yeah. They don't have on one of those backpacks where, you know, the kids are walking around and the parents are holding the leash. Dude. Like they. Oh, you're giving me an idea. What's don't. The, wait, what's oh, the idea? Oh, you're giving me an oh idea. Oh, my God. Corey's going to get blindfolded and we're going to give him a backpack and I'm just going to lead <laughs> him to wherever he goes. <laughs> you're going to give me a monkey backpack and like sit. Here's what's better. I'm going to strap a ghost tool to your back that doesn't make sound. So only I can see when it lights <laughs> up and you have no idea. Oh, man. I'm so glad we thought of this. <laughs> thank you guys. That was a great idea. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate thanks, all guys. of you. Yeah, thank you all. Well, so should we introduce our friends? Let's yeah. go from the one who has been ghost hunting with us the longest. Okay. Okay. You want to start it off? Well, some of you might know him as the man, the myth, the legend, Corbin Reinhardt. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin, 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 Corbin. Corbin. Up. Corbin, you ever done a backflip in court before? How about we don't talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> I love you trying to bait him. Be like, have you not done a backflip here before? Yo, it's hot up here. I'm going to say that right now. We are, we are, we need some more of our Dybbuk box rags. Yeah. <laughs> Just to wipe down our I sweat. I see the dude. sweat coming down. Oh, dude, it's Jeez. hot up here, bro. That's kind of wow. cool. I don't know. I'm a little cold. Um, Corbin? Yes. Now, do you want to introduce one of the newest members of oh. the Overnight Channel? Oh, 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 okay. Let's give you the honor. I get to do that? Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a man with the strongest jawline I have ever <laughs> seen. He's a stand-up comedian, and he's beautiful. His name is Matt Rife. Whoa! Yeah. Boo! Matt, 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 have you ever taken your shirt off in a courthouse before? Your shirt off in a courthouse before? Get out of some punishments. Welcome, boys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. How you doing? Thank you. Oh, grab the mic. And let me take you a while. You guys are sweating. Sweating buckets. I got you. I'm pretty cold. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is cool. None of you knew that they were coming, right? We didn't tell any of you, so. We also yeah. didn't know. Yeah. So I think I, I think I formally, no, I asked you formally like a week or so ago. Yeah, you're like, you want to do that? I said, no. And you're like, you're not going, any, you're like, you're not going anywhere else if you don't go. I was like, well, okay, that's yeah, fine. Okay. See, this is where the misconception happens because I have text messages that say otherwise. Yeah, we do have written proof of him bullying me. In yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's the true. Tea. Should we start about our actual experience here because I think the experience we had here was probably the most divisive night we've ever had mm. oh, in yeah. terms of you guys literally walked a half mile away uh, during the investigation while I stayed in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you got sick or like you had you had stomach cramps right at there. the table. We were doing we. Were <laughs> We were doing the seance right there, and I just we, had to we were just doing the, the introductions, and you said that you could close your eyes and you were seeing other eyes looking back at you, and for that reason, we were out. But it was in a good way. Wait, well, that's wait, not wait, my shirt wait, that's the- <laughs> because I was done <laughs> investing my time out. and energy. Okay, so before we fully begin, does anyone have an outstanding question about that night? I'm assuming you've seen the video, or if you haven't, but does anyone have an outstanding question about that night or any kind of thoughts on what happened anyone at all throw your hand up oh okay yeah they do both can you can you re-describe what it is that you saw and give a little bit of the background as to why we thought you were possessed okay so what i saw is not related at all to the queen mary or the possession what i saw was the first time ever in my life where when psychic mediums or anyone else and i've never understood it when they can channel and close their eyes and they can see what I believe is when they're seeing something on the other side. And that, to me, that night is what I thought I saw for the first time ever. It wasn't mm-hmm. something evil. I thought I saw like someone staring at me with these bright, I think I described them as like yellow gold eyes, yeah. which could have been Anna or Violet or anyone else. And that is what I was describing that I saw. But what was terrifying is when we were on the um, the Queen Mary, they described that when a lot of people are possessed, you can see eyes behind their eyes. Mm-hmm. So when he described seeing eyes right in front of me, there's been multiple terrifying. times that we've thought Elton is possessed. I'm still not. No, convinced. yeah, not certain. 
Why what do you think we put Corey in front of between? Yeah, what do you want me to do to prove to you that I'm not possessed? Go to church, dog. <laughs> oh That's a good idea. God. You know I've done that. When? Yes, I did that. When? Yes, we were going to do it in Colorado after the Stanley Hotel, but we didn't have time. And then I actually, because of the tour, I went on my own free time. How convenient. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. no, no, no. Okay, no, so let me clarify this. So this is actually legitimately, I talked to Dan Rivera about this. Right, Ooh. Dan Rivera from Warren Museum. He's yes. the person who okay, actually yes. moved uh, the Annabelle doll. And I asked him, because when we did Stanley, that was supposed to be, it ended up being the second to last video before this tour. That was filmed about a month ago. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that after we were done with Stanley and all the other investigations before the tour, that I would be cleansed before coming here. Because I don't know, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. Yeah, before spreading your disease to all these exactly. innocent people. Yeah, yeah. God. So we were going to have like a well-known bishop come out to do like not necessarily an exorcism that was just a water bottle falling that was not paranormal calm down no, I was, it, sure? was, no it was oh, more rude than anything else you <laughs> yeah. skittish cat no, no it was rude can we play back the clip can we hear, yeah, can we hear it back do like not necessarily an exorcism so i asked him because i wanted in my opinion i was going to get someone and this is brand new to all of you uh, I wanted to get someone who had been on TV for having done this because then I figured it creates a validity that I didn't just find some random person to just blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. And upon reaching out to Dan, that person ended up canceling because he actually got COVID, mm -hmm. um, so it didn't show up. So I reached out to Dan to be like, hey, do you know anyone? And he was like, well, first off, to be completely honest with you, and I'm not trying to like stir anything up, he was like, any bishop who is ordained and within a parish will not allow you to film their work because they do not believe that doing the work of God can ever be for profit or for media. So he was like, any legitimate bishop that is willing to do that will also not let you film it. Suck it, Joel Osteen. He's got a jet. He's got a jet. What's that? Quickest way to heaven, a private jet. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Reif, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock. All right, got it. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I continue this. No, story. you're good. You're good. But so basically, that lends to why it wasn't documented or why it wasn't filmed because it's not supposed to be. Okay. So that's just wildly convenient. So, but, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, it's a convenient series of events so yeah. that you don't go to a church. Okay, but also to like to be to be fair, do you think if I was possessed, don't you think I would have like some cool new abilities? You talk about like super strength. Right, they you can crawl on ceilings. You don't think if float. I was possessed, I would be doing the podcast from up fucking there right now? That is facts. That You've is gotten facts. a lot better at, at doing flips on a trampoline, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's a big oh. concern. Yeah, you didn't see what happened two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> never mind then, never mind. That, dude, but so taking it back to when we were here though, and then I guess, you know, before you did get cleansed and you know, you're good now, right? Yes. You're good now. Yes. We all multiple times it looked like we all kind of saw a pair of eyes behind your eyes. Like even like, I think it was around the Super Bowl or I can't remember what the, something was going on at our house and multiple people came up to me and said, Elton doesn't look like Elton. Yeah, that was, I don't know if I told you that. No, you, well, so that's the thing is I didn't find out legitimately, I did not find out half of the things that Akelta told you until I edited the Whaley House video. That's right. I had no idea that oh. she had ever said to any of you that she actually thought something was wrong with me. I had no clue about that until I edited the video and I watched you all stand on that street and talk about it. Yeah. I didn't know. That's yeah. what was so scary is yeah. that you didn't know. And that's why and we, we were knew. scared of you for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Cause even after you said that, like there was just something in your eye, there was like a, a slight like- Twinkle? Twinkle, yeah. Mm. And I know you didn't take Molly cause I've seen you <laughs> on it. So I was like, something, something's just not right here. Yeah. And it was, t and this was right after Corbin and you said you felt like you're getting like stabbed. Yeah. And yeah. it was just the, the timing yeah, of it yeah, all was happened. incredibly eerie. Yeah. And the reason Elton seems like the perfect candidate is because he's not scared of any of this at all. Nope. So for something to attach him itself to him. He says that. I've seen a couple of yeah, times. You've gotten scared you before scared? though. I've seen a couple of I've got, times. I've oh, gotten, yeah. I've gotten yeah. scared. When? But it doesn't mean yeah, I Yeah, but you got stopped. scared because of a door opened or something like that. And that was, that was scary for you at that moment. Well, Stanley is uh, when I got the most scared ever. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. That was nobody, my, knows, nobody knows what no, you're talking about yet. Like a cat over a couch. Oh, uh, that remember, was, remember uh, Execution Rocks? Yeah, <laughs> we were trying to go to bed. Has oh, anybody yeah. here? <laughs> has everybody seen Execution Rocks? Anybody here seen it? Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> oh boy, Evan on oh that God. day <laughs> was the, that, that was, was actually the most scared I've ever seen Evan. Yeah, was wow. Execution. Rocks. Evan shrieked. <laughs> it was a noise that I've never heard any human make, and it makes me very proud to know him. That was good. So yeah. because this is the first podcast episode, and there's people that are just listening, and I feel like this is something we should legitimately talk about, because like we kind of went into it, and I was like, hey, Matt, you want to go ghost hunt? Like, my main first interaction with you was... I think you posted a picture at Amityville or you like drove by the house mm -hmm. and I DM'd you and was like, wait, did you actually get in? And then you're like, no, I'm just a super big fan. Yeah. And that's what started that conversation mm -hmm. between like, hey, do you want to start ghost hunting with us? Absolutely. But we never like, even with Corbin, you kind of just like, we just did it. It was like a thing. Yeah, that, exactly. I can't believe you went to Amityville. That's like one of my goals. Oh, dude, it was, it was amazing. So we, we, I was doing a movie like r maybe like two miles from there was my hotel. Yeah. So when I found out it was so close by, um, myself and some castmates, we, we drove by it. We pulled up to it. Somebody lives there, so you can't like really go on the property really. So we all got out of the car and just kind of like stood at the edge of the, the road, just kind of admiring it because it's, it's, it's so yeah. unreal to see in person and just to know the story of what happened there. And the car is still running. We have like the hazards on and everything, like the driver's yeah. side door is open and like you can hear music a little bit from us like driving to the location. And as we're walking back to the car, the radio like jumps its volume. That's cool. Like just by itself? all the way, all, by, there's nobody by in the car. By itself. It was incredibly creepy. What? So when you messaged me about that, I was like in full ghost hunting mood. I was I was so mm. about it. And then you forced me to go to Cerro Gordo and I thought you were going to murder me. I didn't, okay, okay, okay. We got to, let's, let's, right. let's roll back yeah. on the word force. Let's roll back on that word because I, I, I don't think any of you realize how big of an impact it is when you say, even though I, we're joking about it, when you're like, forced me to do this. Yeah, I mean the time, like you put a, a sharp object to my throat and you're like, you're, 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 yeah, absolutely, I would say that, that categorizes forced, no? Yo, dude, okay, first <laughs> off, we know what you look like with your shirt off and if I have ever forced you to do anything, work harder in the gym. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. Ah. Bro, dude, if I can force you to do anything, dude, what podcast? <laughs> what podcast are we on right now? Yeah, I'm just saying. That's what right. I want to know. Are we okay. talking about ghosts anymore? This whole time, you guys remember that episode of SpongeBob? You know where he like blows his arms and they get huge. <laughs> <laughs> they just pop. Oh, whoa, that was, dude! That whoa. was the perfect sound effect. Do that again into the mic. Can't. Why? Someone burned a bridge about three seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I should have talked about that shit. You have all my Damn. antics on, on the floor. <laughs> but nope. But all I'm saying is, whenever we keep saying that someone forced someone into something, I personally think it puts a weird taste in viewers' eyes and ears and mouths. Because I read, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say I read basically every comment on every video. And a lot of people are like, well, why is Matt there? Like he just complains about it. Who says that? Who in this room has left that comment? Yes! Yes! We found the commenter. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible hawk. I love that you're front and center, like at the defendant's table too. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yo, yo! I would have been so if SOL if no right. one raised their hand. Yeah, it that's true. Oh. oh, you also, yeah, there you go. We got two. We got wow. two Same people. Same comment. Wow. Wow. So I'm just saying, it's it's like a lot of people are like, well, why why are you well, there? Okay, well, can, wait, can, wait, 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 but we also got to bring it back to what you were supposed to do was sit in a bed while we were 10 feet away. No, not 10 feet away. No, 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 no. That was the no, entire- No, 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 Eight. I'm flattered. They were I'm flattered. I eight? put one cat ball for every app <laughs> okay. and can, you couldn't fight it off. Can I can I can I clarify when I say you force things then? I would I would like to reiterate and say Elf Wait, was reiterate? Not, Woo. Yes, I will reiterate. So you're just gonna say again, force things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a reiterate. gun. And, no, it was <laughs> no El Elton does not it's not a forceful yeah. thing. 
Elton has a way of putting you in a situation <laughs> or a circumstance that you have always wanted to be in. You tell yourself you want to be in this situation, but when it's actually presented, how bad do you really want to be there? When, when, when faced with adversity yeah. and fear, how badly do you actually want to go it's through it? It's called bullying. So it, I think that actually is it. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm bullying? kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. We've Elton. knocked it down to I'm a kidding. misdemeanor, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, it, was you relax? it was a felony. Yeah, it was a felony. Yeah, it was kidnapping, yeah. all right? <laughs> and that was just bullying. But I, but I, I appreciate that that's what's being said because that is the goal i mean like literally look at every shirt mo uh, people are wearing and find your fears do what scares you like that's the whole yep. the motto but i mean corbin like you were in the same place you've been in the same place and i've mm -hmm. seen you we've guys all been grow. there yeah we've all been there yeah and that it's changed it's changed over everything because i remember there would be times we wouldn't go into certain places oh yeah yeah oh no yeah. dude i used no to not even be able to like walk into a room by myself yeah. Like you would you not. You couldn't even crawl into a room by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even roll into a room. <laughs> we by couldn't myself. even drag you into a room by yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you know, now, you know, I guess uh, I've just, like, you you know, you've gotten more brave too as you ghost hunt. More. Oh, definitely, dude. I'm a grower. You know, did, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I grow with my skill set. Did you ever ghost hunt or anything growing up at all or no? Um, A, a little bit. My friends and I used to, in high school, we'd go to like the like the neighborhood graveyard or whatever. And the, fir mm -hmm. the first experience I had was in my hometown where my friend's house, um, the, the basement of it, was part of the Underground Railroad. So you go down there and there's all these like um, bricked off tunnel entrances. Oh, oh wow. And uh, we were all, it was all for like New Year's Eve. And we were all like, there was like 10 of us up there. Parents were out of town and uh, we were daring each other go, to go down into the basement by like with like one other person. We went down nice. there, we put a chip bag on the floor because obviously how loud an empty chip bag is. And we were all against the, our backs against the wall. And we we're like, all right, if anything's down here, like make some kind of noise with the chip bag or whatever. A wrench, a full size wrench flew off of the staircase and hit and hit the chip bag. We ran upstairs so fast. Like it was it was probably like from where we are right now to the clock was a staircase. Wow. So like that right there was like the, probably the first thing that made me like actually believe in something. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's, That's super cool. Super a sick. wrench too. A That's wrench. pretty heavy. I know. Damn. Yeah. It's been really fun to watch how far, not necessarily even like the channel has grown, but like everyone has. Like knowing that you're first time Stop talking with us. like you're my dad right now. You dude. know, you know Corbin, I'm just <laughs> I'm yeah. so proud, you know, of how far you've come when talking to Satan. You know what I mean? Like you've just, you really my matured. family talked to me like this. this you know what be I mean? Amazing. You really, you, you like to, you speak with, you know, oomph. With when oomph? you when you call out to the <laughs> I devil speak now. With yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're oomphful. Okay. Where does the line draw for you guys? Because I don't have a line. Annabelle. But where's where's the line? I don't want to touch it. I don't want to look at it. Mm. I don't Is want dibic boxes anywhere near me. Why? Yeah. What do you mean why? Yeah, no, that's what do you mean why why why? Like your why? diaries, dude. I don't trust them at all. I don't want to be anywhere near them. You're too involved. Why? Mm. Because I don't want to be possessed. That's why. Why? Because I have a relatively successful comedy career. You guys could check it out. Uh, oh, shut up! Uh, I have a, a, a You're a, a prestigious private. actor, a stand-up comic. We get it. It's not your resume, bro. I do like that he was honest and said relatively successful yeah. comedy career. It's getting That's there. Good. It's getting there. If everybody but you know, out. what if you were standing in like a salt circle, you know, and then he opened the Debbie boxes? We've been talking but, about that. We've yeah. been talking about that. I mean, that. we did that and I feel safe. Well, yeah, because we were both standing in it. Yeah. There, they I can weren't. consider it. If somebody else is also in there with me as collateral, yeah. But are you not willing to push the bounds to find proof? I'm doing that. Every time you make me go by myself, I'm pushing it, dude. <laughs> Every time. And I'm always open to it. But like ghost hunting, like seeing a ghost is one of those things that like you want it, you want it to happen, but on your terms. You know what I mean? Like I'm always terrified something's gonna like follow us back to the hotel with the RV or something. Oh yeah. yeah. That's why every time we leave, we say you do not have permission to follow us. Oh yeah. In the amount of times that we forget to say <laughs> oh that, you should God, see the it's panic. so many times. Every time, literally like, all. Every time. It's all of the time. No, it's not. Here, here's the fun fact about every time you're like you don't have permission to follow us. I am immediately loading a 13 box Dybbuk box into the RV. Guess what that's doing? That's you. Following that's us. That's you, not yeah. us. It's with us the entire time anyway. Yeah, but also what you do, you find it so funny. I do. We'll be so scared uh -huh. and we're leaving. Yep. You know, here we all are standing outside. You do not have permission to follow us. And Elton goes walking by, but you got permission to follow me. Yeah. <laughs> come you on. Come with me. Come you on, get in see, the RV. You can sit shotgun. You can you sleep don't care in Corey's bed. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> 
every God, location. The amount of times. You do that. And every time I'm driving the motorhome, I'm like, hey, buddy, okay, you now have permission to follow them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, go get them. He's at the front seat for like four hours just having a conversation with nobody. He's like, I know. I know. They're hilarious. <laughs> it's not fun. I have no. headphones in. I've never been listening to music. Oh, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just white noise hearing a conversation. You think I'm just singing along to metal songs, but it's not. All he's hearing is crash them. <laughs> crash them. <laughs> I'm not wearing seatbelt. <laughs> well, okay, so I have a question. Wow. Do you think that it's the more demonic side that scares you? Not so much. Absolutely. The, yeah. You know, the ghost hunting in general. Yeah, ghost hunting, I'm incredibly fascinated by, and I would love to have a one on one encounter with a ghost, like something so undeniably proven and, and, and intimate, having that experience. Because that's a, I feel like that's a human, you know. That's some somebody who also lived, and I just find that incredibly fascinating. Versus something demonic, that's something that has never lived and has nothing but bad intentions and can only do harm to you and has yeah. nothing positive to your life. That's an experience I could completely do without. Yeah. One thing I gotta say too is I've had such a bias since I was a kid. My parents raised me on horror films. I don't know if this is affected horror films. Horror films. Yeah. Horror films. Horror films. Hor Horror. Damn, dude. You, had, you had some cool There's another R in there? <laughs> Damn, dude. Horror films. Thank you very oh, okay, much. Okay, okay. And uh, yeah, no, that's really affected me because every time that I'm in that situation, I've always seen a film where somebody dies and that's the only thing I've ever seen from it. So any sort of situation other than that, I've never, ever seen before. So it's just kind of a weird thing for me to experience and not see that happening to me. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. never been an exorcism movie that they're like, yeah, I mean, that just went on a, a hot streak. Just everything <laughs> in my life started going really, really well. Appreciate it. I just, I just really wish Corbin lived the rest of his life the way he treats horror movies. I'm trying like, to. He's like, I won't get on a boat because it's going to sink and <laughs> I don't need an iceberg. That's actually incredibly reasonable of you and I'd respect it. That's I'd respect true. your boundaries. I got on the Queen Mary. That is true. I did. You I got did. it. Walked Mary. onto it. That is true. So you said you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one undeniable experience. Yeah. I feel like you've had those. So where? What's undeniable to you then? He wants to it's, actually see. Yeah. He wants to sight, make out with a female ghost. It, preferably female, but whatever. Okay. You know, all right. All right. It's, it's not going. It's not of this realm. So whatever. It's twenty. It's twenty twenty-two or whatever year they're in. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, your vision is what you trust the most. Okay. So, I mean, that would be the most undeniable experience. But I, I, the, the coolest thing that I haven't been able to explain was that the, um, you guys were just recently there again, where we're, it was the Preston, orphanage. Preston Castle. Preston Castle, where you and I were upstairs talking to the 10-year-old yes, boy. Yes, Every single question we asked was so specific, is so well-timed. Yep. No, no, no equipment could malfunction so specifically no. that we were having this conversation. And it was with. a cat ball. It was a cat ball it across was, the room. Yep. And then when Josh came to try, to try to scare us, completely went away. That's right. It wow. was right. The, the questions we were getting answered were so specific and so fascinating. And, and, and it was the first time that showed me that the more comfortable we are, the mm -hmm. more comfortable they are in communication. Yeah. Like it's almost like they can tell your intentions. Yeah. You know? So the fact that we were, we felt like we were talking to a 10 year old boy and we were treating them just like that, yeah. I think was really what helped kicked up that uh, that experience and it was hmm. and because we felt like it, it was this child it was very it was a very warm welcoming non-threatening um like relationship yeah energy yeah 100 percent. for all of you i'm curious i mean obviously you've dedicated a massive portion of your life and now i have this year as well and corbin yeah. as well and matt you know but do you <laughs> think that if you legitimately got to that point where you were like this is absolutely undeniable one million percent concrete there is another side do you think it would change the way you live the rest of your life? Absolutely. Oh, it already has. Do you think you would just fully dedicate all of your time and resources to just being like, this is something that I need to pursue further? Or would you go, that was maybe a one-off and it's really cool and thank you. I don't think it changes your physical like trajectory of your life, but I think it definitely would change my outlook. Just to, to know for sure that mm -hmm. there is life after death is my primary fascination with ghost hunting. Yeah. To have that experience of knowing like, oh wow, there's no need to be scared of death because there are answers on the other side. I think it's yeah. so fascinating. Yeah. Now, I don't need to know that demons exist. I don't know. need to know that. <laughs> You, you but, do though if you're if you're doing this like that's part of it you know I know but like they can uh... hold on shouldn't you know if demons exist though because that would mean like if you do go to the other side and let's say you become a positive spirit well you're also in the same playing field as demons yeah but I kind of feel like they're like 
a stray dog where it's like if you just ignore them, they don't want anything to do with you. That's why it, it That's the kind of person me. you are. Yeah. You just straight out. You don't even pet it? Well, it's a dog. It's a little different. Oh, no, don't no, do no, this. Yeah, don't flip Matt, it. Oh, yeah, no. Don't flip it. Matt wow. hates don't dogs, flip everyone. That's not what Matt, I Matt sees a stray dog. Hell he goes, go hungry. Analogies no love for you. Dogs. We have to get this trending ASAP. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> hashtag Matt hates, hates dogs. dogs. Wow. Cancel wow. Matt. Right That's do now. not hashtag. Importantly, make sure that hashtag trends the day his special drops. Oh, my God. That would be Oh, end of January 2022. Shut up. I, I think, think so. that ghost hunting has, you know, already given me that answer, though, about what happens when you pass. And I think that that's why I got into ghost hunting at such a young age, because I was so scared of it, you know, from family members passing and just not knowing what happens. And then, you know, as I'm getting older, I mean, you know, 10 or 11, but I'm hearing that you can talk to ghosts, mm-hmm. you can talk to these things. So I'm like, oh, how do you do that with a Ouija board? So I play with a Ouija board and... I'm talking to spirits and I just, as we got older, obviously we found better ways to do that. You know, you don't always have to do it the Ouija board route. You can use a cap all or a K2 or, you know, EVPs and whatnot. But I think that it's definitely made me live my life differently because I'm not scared of what happens when you do pass away because of it. It's made me comfortable to live like I don't have to live every day and be like oh well they say that it's this when you pass and then these people say it's that when you pass and it's kind of just in my head you know when you pass it is what it is but I do know that it doesn't stop there because of the evidence that we've got honestly for me I don't know if anybody in here is like this but four years ago I would get ice for water for you know whatever it'd be three in the morning and as soon as I turn out the light I would have to run to my bedroom <laughs> to be able to get to my bed I still do where, that. where the light is yeah, yeah. You, you still you still do that I'm terrified of the dark well you haven't changed is at all that, is that why electric bill is so high every single night in the house I'm like turning off every light yeah. you leave your your mo- your computer monitor on that's so we're, weird we're going to stray light boys the hallway light we're dude, going every- to stray that's all right. so weird dude every light is this why you guys I don't have lights know. and water. <laughs> yeah, that, hence the relatively successful <laughs> comedy career. No, what I wanted to say about that is that going on these adventures and going on these trips, it's been more coexisting with that idea. Like I would be running away from it, you know, literally after I get water or something like that. Now it's more so it's okay if it's there. You know, I think that's a major factor that I felt so uncomfortable with in the beginning. And, you know, I think it's a lot like people. You know, you, there, there are good people out there. There are bad people out there. You know, and a lot ghosts and demons are very similar. Right, I mean, you have to take it in the same way, so you have to but, be but, open. Hmm. But do you feel it's kind of like seeing a lion? Like you would love to see a lion, but you don't want to like in your house. Well, that's like you're, I do. you're talking like if I it's definitely like a want a lion in my house. Like I would please, if anyone has a lion, please send you're it to a my house. Monster! <laughs> oh my God. I, I've turned my house into a petting zoo. I would love to turn it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Did you true. guys go and see lions, and then a month after, what happened? Uh, it was like, it was like eight weeks later. Yeah, the yeah. lions ended up actually mauling the the person who raised them from uh, from basically like when they were six weeks, I think, old. Yeah, yeah, that was in South Africa. He yeah, actually, his name cats, was uh, his name was West. Crazy, and he was an amazing guy, Su- super awesome dude. Ghost. Was that a <laughs> Was that a goose? A g- you know goose? what? You know what? One thing I've realized we haven't actually addressed where we are. Oh, like we're at we the Whaley like, House, baby! Kind of started, yeah. And we kind of just overlooked the fact that like, we've been here a bunch of times, but it is yeah. kind of cool that we're like in this courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> Where like so San much Diego. history has happened. Yeah. I kind of just like, it's really cool for us to like look out and see this. Wait, do you think there's any ghosts in here right now watching this? They're too hot in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they walked in and they're like, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, dude. They're at the beach. Probably would be colder at the beach right hopped now. Hopped on a ghost wagon down to La Jolla and just. <laughs> you know what I do waves. feel like though? I do feel like one of us is on trial for something right now. That's what I do feel. Why like. do you all look at me? What the fuck? Because <laughs> we all know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> For bullying and harassment. Exactly. <laughs> Viol- threat of violence. You should be locked up. Are you, are you just reading all the terms of uh, agreement on Instagram right uh, now? Uh, on how to report you. <laughs> 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 you reading your Miranda rights right now for some reason. True, yeah, because we did ask everyone to submit stories if they had one they wanted to share. Oh, amazing. And then I think there was 11 stories that were submitted for tonight. Corey wow. picked one, I picked one, yep. and then I believe we have a couple others. Um, that we can pull from. Oh, hell yeah. So Great. that's been a really cool aspect about things. And yeah, maybe we should. Do you want to go first? Ooh, is it story time? Ooh, do it. So story we're, we're going to read someone's share. story 
and then we're just going to read it. It'll be my first time hearing it, their first time hearing it, and then we're going to have them uh, join us up here. Oh, and, we're not uh, even going to know who they are first? Nope. Wow. And then we'll have them join us up great. here, and then we'll ask a couple <laughs> questions and kind of go about that. Um, yeah, because I think like the main point of why we're doing this is to you know, build a community, create a safe space around sharing your stories, and uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's read away, Corey. Make it, oh. make it cinematic. Make Corey it epic. Read. Oh my God, yeah. that's so long. Wait. Oh no, I. It's is a, this is this page oh, two? Oh, it keeps going. Really? Yes. Whoa, oh, then you, that's I need cool. to. I need to feel this story, Corey. Are you sure? Yeah. You like you like like should I should I be serious like serious serious? Read it like you're narrating. What's the what's the one? No. Oh, no. I, I know what you're doing. Mouth. And then I know. Like, like, he I'm was out. fourteen. No, 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 no. Fourteen. No, that wasn't the year. I that's saw not. your jaw rage, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you just hear a creak, creak. creak. I don't know. I kind of want to hear in that voice. I don't know if anybody else wants to hear it in that voice. What's but... with that? And what's, what's the one, like, paranormal uh, recreation show? The girl's voice is like this. I haven't seen time. that. It's a famous actress. Wait, that what's sounds like voice? A, what are you talking about? sounds like a, like a pre Do you not Mars. know this show? No. <sighs> Y'all missing out. That, sound, that literally sounds like prepubescent Marge. Like Marge Simpson, but mm-hmm. like before. Holy! <laughs> That's what that sounds like, dude. Do yours then. Do yours. Yeah, do I yours. Hear that voice. Read, okay. it how, read it however you want. Just know that some people are only listening. Okay. So you, they got to feel oh. the story. Okay. Okay. Can you, rub, can you rub my shoulders a little bit? Just don't. Get okay. it, champ. Get it. All right. Get this it, is going to be so long. I'm sorry in advance. L O L L. Oh wait, he, he sorry. He's actually reading that to clarify. I yeah. thought I thought he was just saying. I thought he was just literally being like, "This is gonna be a really long story." He has actually what's written here. <laughs> that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I'll be serious. Now. Yeah, it's okay. gonna take us all night if you do that. Okay. <laughs> so pretty much right here we have two stories, and um, let me see. Can we believe in you? Let me see Can Corey story. read? I don't know. Do we know that yet? The dog. It's not in Braille, dog. The, <laughs> <laughs> um, the dog crossed the red oh street. <laughs> the quick brown fox jumped over. The- this is why I do the voiceover historical sections. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the very first time I ever experienced something paranormal was when some old friends of mine convinced me to go to the graveyard. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the graves yard. We can edit this. Story. It sounds Let like me. a family with the last name Graves. The graves yard. <laughs> and he just went over to the house. Went over to the graves. So yard. he went over to Michelle's house. <laughs> okay, I'll restart. So the very first time I ever experienced something paranormal was when some old friends of mine convinced me to go to the graveyards with them in the middle of the night when I was like 15. I don't even know why they would think that's a good idea, but okay. I like, thank you for putting that in there. I was just kind of going with whatever they wanted to do. And then there's a laughing emoji. I think the emojis are good. Thank you for the emoji. So we went to three different ones in the course of like five hours. How many people die in this town? (laughs) Do they have three that they can just walk to? Wow. (laughs) The first one was a weird circle layout in the middle of the woods. Literally don't even know why or where it was this day. But anyways, we're just walking around and my friend Peyton was like, oh my God, guys, there's a coffin coming out of the ground. And we're like, what? What? And then she goes over and touches it and jokes about opening it while we're all just standing there like. (laughs) There there was another emoji. There there was another emoji. And after she did that, it got super cold. Mind y'all, this was June in South Texas where there's no such thing as being cold in the summer. And we all noticed it, but just shrugged it off. And then we started hearing what sounded like little kids either screaming or playing. Yeah, do do that. Dude, that, I'll be honest, I didn't know Matt did that and I pooped a little. <laughs> I did not realize that came from Matt. We could do background. Yeah, let's do background. Yeah, you guys can do background ad yeah, yeah, libs. Okay, and we, we saw like a street light in the distance and we were like, okay, it's probably just kids at their house being loud or whatever. So we keep walking. And as soon as we walk out of this graveyard, we stop hearing the kids. It stops being cold and the street light 
wasn't where it was anymore. The whole light Wait, the moved? whole street light? Yeah, so like they Did saw a light. No, so they saw a light, but then the light wasn't there anymore. Oh, so oh. it wasn't the street light. Oh. So like there never was I, a street bro, light. Bro, I thought like a whole red light, green light, yellow light just moved. And <laughs> no, I'm like, no, all right, no. let's, yeah. let's, <laughs> let's calm down. You would Man, think there would be a lot of traffic. construction zone the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Then Simon said, put your left hand up. <laughs> and put your terrible. left hand down. Simon didn't say it. You got you guys just all lost. Um, and that's the end of that story. Okay. Let's see. Wait, there's two? From is it from two different stories? Yeah. Like but two different people? Or one one person. Yeah, but Same. the second story, I'm just reading the last sentence and it just says, So that's whack. <laughs> 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 what a spark note of the whole summary. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to hear it's that whack. story. It's <laughs> whack. That's so whack. That's whack. <laughs> Wow. Where does it say that? Right oh, there. Yeah. Oh my god, it literally did. <laughs> Here, do you want to read the second one? Yeah. Read the second one. Yeah, you right. got it. Will you hold my gum? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Did you really? <laughs> so for anybody who is listening to the podcast and didn't see what just happened, see it. Show Matt it just me. took his gum out oh, and put it in yeah. Corey's mouth. Duh. I just love that your jaw is still dropped, bro. Yo, he's just like... Waiting for the gum to get shot into his mouth. Wait, can I have it back? Wow. Don't. Don't. I can't see this. <laughs> I'm, a go- I'm, I'm the newest ghost of the Whaley House. I'm choking on my own gum. Oh my I just want to hear God. that tour. Okay. The second one we went to was closer to civilization. What? what Yo, wait, what, what year are we? 14, yeah. <laughs> 1492. 1400 BC. Yeah. <laughs> we were near Mesopotamia. But I still don't know where exactly it was, LOL. But this one, we had to literally hop the fence. Trespassing, you admitted to it. So that's fun. And anyways. <laughs> anyways. We started walking around, and we started seeing, like, orbs around some of the headstones. And then we get under this one really big tree, and the one on the and then one of my other friends says she sees either a really really tall headstone or a shadow person. Gasp. So we all look over and see it. Then I suddenly get super anxious and scared and felt like something knocked all of my energy out of me. So I had one of my other friends walk me back to the truck. We got out of the graveyard only to look over where the tall headstone was and not see it anymore. So that's, that's whack. whack. <laughs> That's the end of that? That sounded like the end, I'm not even kidding, of like a wild and out haunted game that you would play. <laughs> you should pitch that, honestly. <laughs> so that's whack. Maybe revamp so the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just so that's whack is the whole game that you play. Do you want me to do the third one? Or cool. There's a third one? one? Yeah. God damn. Does it have a, as good of an ending? Then at the third one, I was too scared to go in. By the way, so- I think this is one story. Oh, really? Yeah. It's all part of the different cemeteries. Am I, am I correct? This is because all one there story. Was three right? Oh, ones. great. Now yeah. we know who is it is. Well, I mean, you I just al- gave up the identity of this person. No, that's okay. I just wanted to verify that I'm. I thought sure we were gonna play Clue and figure out who it is by. Oh, that actually. Yeah, I thought these wouldn't that be awesome? Confidence. Oh, that's right, smart. Well, Wait, did you? Did you that's out the window. The- no, this what? is your social security number, right? Eight three two six two two. Yeah. Wait, did you all actually see who it was, or only did I only see? I saw. Yeah. Oh, okay, the Corey, did you see who it was? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Corbin, you saw? <laughs> that Cor- the Corey could do it. Wait, did you see? Yeah. No, he actually. He went. I was playing right, cool. along right. with so, it, that's, right? uh, so we'll do that for the next story. Then we'll play. We'll play. Guess who? Guess who's haunted in the audience? Ooh, okay. guess who's I haunted? Like that. Guess that who's haunted fun. in the audience? Yeah. Okay. Would you care to read the, the yes, final? Yes. Continue. Like to do it. All right. All right. No, but you have to do it. You have to do it in the accent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. no. <laughs> but, like, I cannot do that. Do, do it. It's the yeah. third one. I was too scared to go in. Oh well. <laughs> I was gonna commit. That was good. Thanks, man. <laughs> Take it. This is what happens too when someone has to go into a room alone. It's like, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> no, you do it. Yeah. Then at the third one, I was too scared to go in. So I stayed in the truck while they went and looked around. Literally was so scared at this point that I was shaking and looking down towards the ground and just singing to keep from being too paranoid. Mm. It's three of those emojis. Yeah, it was the emojis. Oh, dude, I was like, uh, eventually, I had a water eventually, I calm myself down <laughs> and I'm just chilling. But not even two minutes after I stop freaking out, something knocks on the passenger side window. A huge flash of light in front of the truck. Flash! 
and there was a perfect circle of fog that formed in the driver's side window. This that, could have dude, that, just that was, been... We couldn't have paid for that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure, make sure you got that, Marty. Make sure you got that. It was a biker that this knocked on the window. This could have just been one uh, because of the humidity, but usually this only... <gasps> she died before the story. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> or it's on the next piece of paper. That'd be convenient. Get it. Yeah. Happens on our car window because the AC is really cold outside in the car and it's really humid outside. But the truck wasn't... There's like 14 U's. Yeah. But the truck wasn't even on and it literally appeared out of nowhere, so... IDK, man. So my friends come back a few <laughs> minutes later and they were like, did anything happen? So I told them all of it from start and, and they and they all started freaking out and then they tell me they heard loud footsteps over near the truck but didn't come back because they didn't see anyone walking outside or around. Can I just say that this sounds like, just based on the facts, a street light went missing, a knock on the passenger side window. Someone was drunk driving from cemetery to cemetery to cemetery. <laughs> Does it not sound like they were like, oh, the light disappeared. Yeah, and, absolutely. And they saw lights flashing that disappeared. <laughs> and then they got a knock on the window. What about the it's coffin? It's a police ghost. <laughs> what about the coffin coming up out of the ground, Elton? It, I mean, hey, man, if you're drunk driving. Uh, you can be right. <laughs> it's it was just a tree ghost. roast. A police we ghost? just solved the mystery. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Wow. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs> yeah. <that was laughs> yeah. Awesome. Wow. We solved yeah. the mystery. <laughs> Do you want me to keep reading the whole thing? Uh, I think we might we might know enough yeah. to uh, ask. I heard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's even another page that fell on yeah, the floor. There is, yeah. There's another one. Is there? Okay. You know, we're, all, we're honestly not reading some of these correctly. Some, some of them were capitalized. You know on the internet when somebody like capitalizes a letter, then lowercase capitalized, lowercase, it's, it's really red. Like, no, 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 we're trying my time. <laughs> I like how it says, I like how really it says right here, justice. all in caps, the, the baby. baby. The baby. The baby. Here, we can show you hold yourself on, link, the hold baby. On, hold on, wait, can we backtrack please for one second? You say that every time you see lowercase capital, lowercase, how do you, how do you hear that? Because it was the SpongeBob meme where it was like, duh, duh, duh. Whoa, is that, whoa. Is that not how it's read from everybody? No, it's like when someone's like, what whoa, thank you. Oh, hey. Yeah, I learn down to read there. in oh, memes. I always read that like, okay. No, that's quotes. Like quotations? Yeah. That, would, that would literally have to be quotes to do that. Yeah. Well, what it's if you wrote that. that and then put quotes? No, you're supposed to be like, dude, with, with, with dude. the word. <laughs> oh, okay. And then wearing the cowboy hat. And okay, I know. Dude, what you there mean. were so many cowboy hats across the street. I thought about buying or something. Were they cute? Thing, really? Yeah. Was there was there like chaps? Yeah. yeah. The guys we were wearing them, right? We should probably get back on track. And cut. And edit it out, guys. <laughs> best, uh, just for us. So, yeah. So also, happens. one thing I would like to say is this is like the first podcast ever, and this is exactly how the videos go. We go off on tangents constantly. Oh, yeah. The videos <laughs> are actually 18 hours long. That's exactly that's a, right. That's actually accurate. I'm not even going to get that. That's is. actually accurate. The amount of stuff that does not make the edit, you guys would be oh my gosh. offended. This is actually a record for the fact <laughs> they that- They already are. are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Corey only had to say one time, cut that out of the video. That is a record for us. That's like every eight minutes. When we're yeah, filming. yeah, true. very true. true. We're so we're very well behaved. We're just a bunch of friends that happen to ghost hunt. Yeah, you know. Is that all we are as friends? We're more than friends. Cut that out of the video. And cut that's that out two. of the video. That's two. Yeah, that's two. <laughs> that's friends. That's okay. Hey, <laughs> okay. okay. Whatever. Don't go too far. Um, no, I actually, I, I have some. All right. Um, whose, whose story was that? Come, come on up. Come on up. Come on down. Come on, come on down. I'll, I'll move over and I'll give her this mic. The to the nameless right. podcast show. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise if you like McDonald's. Yeah. Hilarious. Oh, I'm the only one. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's okay. It was so good. That was so good. Cancel the cater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you want? No one said approach the stand. Sit hey. in the chair. Oh. Sit down. We got questions so for you. I thought it was the same type of chair, and I almost fell to my death and became the ghost. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Saw it here first. Hey, oh, whale, whack. whale. <laughs> I'll be honest, if you became a ghost right now, it would be a whole lot easier to it communicate. Would we wouldn't have to ask your name through a spirit true. box. We would already know it's That's Emily. True. Very good point. <laughs> I, got a, I got a question right off the bat. Okay. Okay. So, okay. when you wrote the uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. <laughs> Matt was How correct. Do you How no. do you say it? <laughs> 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 Matt was right. Oh, yeah. yeah, you were right. I know. Wait, how do you say it? Like, 
I don't even know how well, to, like, the it. Matt can the demonstrate. The baby! I was traumatized. You can't die, but time. <laughs> yeah. Traumatized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, know your okay. meme, everybody. <laughs> I'll take over from here. Okay. Okay. Lead it. Okay. So the, just the first thing I want to ask, that area, is it known to be haunted? Like, do multiple people have stories from around there? Yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, it's in, like, the south part of Texas, like, near Houston, like, an hour north of Houston. And, like, it's, like, supposedly a lot of, like, underground railroad type of stuff and, like, Indian burial ground thing. Apparently, okay. like, the whole entire county that I live in is, like, cursed by Indians and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah apparently that's what people say. So a that's lot what they of say about stuff. the town I grew up in too. That's why they say how the Ouija board so quickly, at least for me when I was young, got so active and opened stuff in there because apparently my town was yeah. built on an Indian burial ground as well. So yeah, I'm glad well, that we share twins. that in common. Love that. Did Two. anything happen after that though? Like, do you feel like anything followed you or you got bad luck? Or? You know, it's kind of funny because ever since then, like even up until this point that I'm at right now in life, like I've had experiences like here and there, like I've had to cleanse my house a few times. And like my mom would be like sitting watching TV, say, hi mom uh she'd be like <laughs> sitting and watching tv and like see like shadows like running behind her and stuff and like it would be like two in the morning and my brother and i would be asleep but she didn't tell us until like a year later whenever wow. it got brought up are you about to fight your mom shop. if it's gonna happen oh, wow <laughs> <laughs> right, we, yeah. no, i'm joking hey. i'm joking we gotta see a fight but no it's fine now it's fine now we've like cleansed it a few times and stuff and nice. so it's like it's okay and then me and my friends just go around town and ghost hunt and like there's old town spring like this is like old town san diego we kind of have that in my town um and it has like a lot of historical buildings and stuff like there's like this one building that like has a sealed off door that led to underground blah, 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 i can't english english is hard <laughs> underground railroad type situation apparently wow. yeah so and we've like done like a few videos there on youtube and stuff like that so oh, sick. Yeah. So, so two two questions mm -hmm. one i know your mom's here yeah was there alcohol involved? No, no, <laughs> no, I promise. I promise there was not. That's the wrong hand to hold up. I don't believe you anymore. I'm right handed. <laughs> were you the person, if I, if I heard that correctly, you were the person that was coerced into going to the graveyard? Yeah, I uh, didn't. I'm, I'm not the sharpest soul in the shed, Shrek. Um, I uh, did not. Wait, uh, hold on, hold on. I, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You just. <laughs> Hold on, you just said sharpest tool in the shed and you uh, allocated that to Shrek and yeah. not yeah. Smash Mouth? I, okay, it's okay, Smash I know it's Smash, Smash Mouth. Mouth. Okay, but it's in Shrek. It is, it's in it Shrek. No, that's the Shrek song. very much. It's just Shrek. 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 Yes. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. That's a good one. Got it. 10 out of 10. Love that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I forgot what I was saying. You were forced. Oh, no, they didn't tell me that they were uh, going to find ghosts. They they uh, were like, we're going to graveyards. And I'm a very uh, naive person, at least at that age anyway. I was kind of stupid. And uh, <laughs> Okay, that, they, I'll be that honest, how it was written. That's how it was written. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I was kind of stupid. That was it. For sure, stupid. Case, yeah. okay. case, Honestly, Matt yeah. was kind of right. Yeah. Damn it. It's know your right. meme, guys. Know your memes. But um, <laughs> yeah, I should have known. Whenever I saw a giant thing of salt in the front of the passenger side of the of the truck, and I was like, "What's this for?" And they were like, "Just in case." And I was like, "Oh." Oh, they were serious. Oh. Yeah. Margaritas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there was alcohol. Sure. There was alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I got a question actually. Yeah. yeah. The coffin. I want to hear about that. Yeah, no, literally, like, we were, like, halfway, like, around, because it was, like, a circle thing, like, like I typed. Yeah. Uh, and there was just, like, a coffin that was, like, halfway out of the ground, and my friend just, like, like walked up to it. Half, half, like, a torso was above No, her. like, it was, like, a closed, like, coffin, but it was just, like, sticking out of the ground. Like, I don't know. It was, and there was nobody like, around it? No. Just an open coffin? Just no, it wasn't open. Oh, no, no, no. Like, open, but, like, but it was, like, you could have if you really wanted to. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there was a treasure in there. Oh. Nobody. I'm pretty sure it was just someone. No. No. <laughs> not, it's not Did you ever go back? No, no. No. I um. I uh. Literally. So I stayed the night at my friend's house that night, and then my mom like picked me up because obviously I couldn't drive. I was 15. Uh. And <laughs> yeah, I hear. I, I I hear it now. Yeah. That was yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I said I type how I talk. Was I wrong? No. No. I I'm, can see like the emojis too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah. I'm a walking meme. It's a personality <laughs> type now. Uh, but no, I literally looked at my mom first thing that next morning. I was like, so um, 
ghosts are real and she was like huh and uh I, I may have traumatized me but i'm i'm fine it's it's fine yeah wow. just, right just, just, fine. Mom, mom do yeah. you do you believe yeah. in ghosts <laughs> that's a long pause uh, i drag her along <laughs> you just ignore them I grew up with a lot of superstition. Cajun. Cajun. Like, oh. A lot of stories, so I chose to, you know, I don't, I don't say I do believe, I don't believe, I just neutral. And what about your husband? What does he believe? <laughs> and he's like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. My dad's an attorney, so that's kind of ironic considering was, we're in I was really just seeing if she was single. I oh my God. Gonna say that. I knew it. I just really, I up. this guy. <laughs> I just really want to see your dad sue a ghost. That Next would be hilarious. Push down the stairs. <laughs> Dad, so if you're watching is it. it is it fair to say because this is mm -hmm. interesting because part of the discussion we've been having about what to name this podcast and the yeah. show one of the key ideas behind it was the night that made me believe mm. and it was about finding those particular stories and experiences that made people go you know what even though everyone else thinks maybe this is a little weird or not like a little illogical mm -hmm. now I believe so is that fair to say that that night was the night that you made you actually believe yeah pretty much i mean i was like kind of i guess in disbelief about it i was like oh there's no way like that it must have been like coincidental like obviously the logical part of my brain was trying to figure it out and there were like a couple other experiences i had after that like having dreams that i would wake up and see on tv and stuff like that and just like knowing things before they would happen mm -hmm. and there have been a lot of times where like i would prevent my family from getting in like car accidents pretty much whenever we would go on vacation a i'd be like times yeah yeah what? stuff like that it's it's it's, I don't know, something is wrong with me. I'm mentally ill. Um, but, <laughs> Yo. All right, who's, whoever's editing, that's how we yeah. start this episode. <laughs> sound <laughs> clip right there. <laughs> something is wrong with me. I'm, I'm mentally ill. ill. <laughs> you need a podcast. I would listen to that. But Yo, the audio editor would be like, I don't know what to <laughs> do with the volume. What is happening? Uh, but so to answer <laughs> Marty your question, over here is DJing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> SRT files make ridiculous. Period. <laughs> Word. So Thank you. yes, technically it was a night that I was like, okay, yeah, there's something else out there. But like, there were definitely other times where I was like, okay, this just proves it even more so. That's so, cool. Yeah. That's super That's really cool. cool. Well, thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, this yeah, is amazing. Appreciate yeah, we appreciate you sharing. I have another story that yeah, I would, I would like to read. And Sorry. then we'll we'll play the game and try and guess who it is. Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of gave it away. I have very Donald specific typing. Emily, Emily, thank you. Thanks, Emily. Let's go. Emily, real quick. Emily, 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 come here. What's your YouTube channel? Oh, so um, I, I haven't posted in a while, but if you never mind. Hey! No, you gotta be dedicated. Look, you gotta be dedicated. I'm sorry. No, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm. I lied. Fuck. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Don't make me cry, Elton. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying. Bye. Uh, All right, no promo. Exactly. There we go. Uh, I'm a musician and uh, I do music and stuff. My Instagram is Zoe Miles, but with an X. Rebrand purposes. Yeah. So. Wait, where did the X go in Zoe Miles? I'm so confused. Oh, like X Zoe. Completely blunt. I decided just to choose a story at random that I have actually not read. I don't know the story. So I just wanted to pick one random one that was submitted. Ooh, um, okay. So, and I won't say who it is or anything like that. So we and are playing the game. We so are going to try to figure to play out. the game. Okay. okay. So here is the story. It happened two years ago in the middle of, I have to say what they wrote, in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, Alabama, which I assume Whoa. is so the, the whole state. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I lived on a farm in a two story house with my mom and her boyfriend, Matt and. I always felt like someone was watching me, but one night I felt sick and went to bed early. I'm known for sleepwalking and doing weird shit when I'm asleep. So when I felt myself sleepwalking down the stairs, I didn't feel scared. This time was different though. It felt like I was floating and time wasn't real. As I was going down the stairs, I felt someone watching me. I turned to my right and leaning on the balcony above me is a brunette woman watching me. She was very skinny and wearing a dress. I didn't feel threatened, but when I saw her, I lost my footing and fell down the stairs. Didn't feel any pain though. I woke up two seconds later, right next to my bed on the floor. I talked about it a few days later and my mom's boyfriend heard me. I describe the woman and his face goes pale. He puts, he pulls his wallet out and there's a photo of the woman I saw. Turned out it was his mother 
who committed suicide in the upstairs bathroom. What? Oh my God. I didn't even know his mom was dead. And after that, I always heard footsteps or felt her, but I was never scared. Wow. That's a movie. Wow. That was incredible. So, good luck guessing. Is it of these four? Is that? Is well, that it? yeah. Uh, sorry. Is it of these? No, no, no. I, I have no idea. No, no. no. Everyone was. Everybody every, the here? seating was just kind of random. Yeah, I have literally no <laughs> idea. Um, okay. So how we, we don't know guess? anybody. Really. Yeah. <laughs> how are we gonna figure this out? Wow. Actually, hold on. I will say I think I know who it was because there was one person, uh, the meet and greet prior that oh. said they were from Alabama, from Montgomery. So I might know oh. who it is. So I'm going to I'm going to remove myself from the guessing game because I oh. believe I know With the, the one person that might know something. I believe I know the I, answer. I You're the best clue. With myself as Do well. you remember exactly who it was? Yeah, because I was like, yeah, McGamory! Yeah, that I, was yeah. right. Yeah. Wait, All right, boys, I'm it's on man. you. How are we going to do this? I don't know. Out Figure of everybody? It out. Yeah. yeah. You have, let's uh, put a timer on, you have 90 seconds. Oh. Who Figure here is from out. Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> roll time! <laughs> roll time! <laughs> who, who, don't they have Eagle? Roll time? Huh? What? <laughs> it's Auburn. Anything? You going to figure it out? Um, okay, wait, let's look this at This is your idea, cool. We got, we got somebody with a San Diego it's Padres. Not, San Diego, not LA. LA. Okay, no. good, mm. good. You guys can <laughs> Yeah, you guys are on a roll. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. It was your idea. Alabama. I, don't. Well, I like feel like... From Alabama. We gotta do something Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everybody smile right wow. now. No, as an, somebody come Whoa. up, everybody's gonna take a turn reading out loud. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, hey. All right, who looks the most offended? Who looks the most offended? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to go. I think it's you. I think I do think it's you. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who are you pointing to? Front row right here. That's my guess. Is it you? No! no! Let's, Let's go! Wait, wait, wait. Was it the teeth And thing? you have beautiful teeth. <laughs> I was going to say. Are you the mayor? <laughs> wait, did you guys come together? No. Oh, you just happened? No, 100% wow. seating was completely random, did not. Like, How did you know that? We planned. It's, I could just, I, I, I felt something and it just told me. What? Wow. You're getting more sensitive. I'm getting more sensitive. I'm going to. Yeah. I can't believe, I can't believe yeah. that worked. I can't believe you literally went, let me see your teeth and then got it. <laughs> <laughs> like there's 37 wow. people in My here. My crowd work is unmatched. This is a phenomenal. <laughs> but apparently wow. their dental work isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, clap, clap for Marie. Yeah! Yeah! Did you actually find out with my teeth? No, you have great teeth. <laughs> when you said that, I just immediately no, covered your, your my mouth. Your teeth are phenomenal. You could be the governor, honestly. <laughs> 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 you just gave her a race. Yeah, you went from mayor to governor. Yeah, well, I didn't think they heard the joke the first time, so wow. I thought I thought raising the stakes would make it better. It didn't. Like four people liked it. It's, wow. it's whatever. Marie, that was a great guess. Hi. that's an incredible story. So you never felt creeped out by this presence at all. I was the only one that never felt creeped out because there were a couple stories about it beforehand. Like my stepbrother, the boyfriend's son, he had a little baby boy, and he wouldn't stay upstairs. He would cry and like try to throw himself out of the crib upstairs but he would go downstairs and he would be fine and then we also had a family dog that would growl up at the stairs so mm. i had the whole top floor myself i didn't know why i didn't know nobody questions. wanted it <laughs> i didn't really want to know no how long ago did this happen um about two or three years ago i was still in high school oh hmm. wow that is wow recent. <laughs> how did that make uh it was your mom's boyfriend how did that make him feel like had he ever seen her in the house no but he had heard footsteps so he was kind of upset that she had like revealed herself to me and he never talked about it for a reason so when i described her he kind of freaked out on the inside he was like how did you see my mom because she killed herself right there in front of the like where the bathrooms were because the balcony was right in front of him this is kind of a morbid question do you know how she died uh she had just got home from grocery shopping uh put up all the groceries Went upstairs and shot herself. Oh, man. no! Wow. Nothing telling. Any no? Any any explanation? Nope. Any? Mm -mm. Just all of a sudden, she killed herself. Like she wasn't on medication. Nothing was really wrong. Like all her kids were grown. Like it just kind of happened one day. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't expect you to have any answer to this because I don't know if you tried getting those answers. But do you feel she's still 
in the home because she's stuck there? Yeah, because absolutely. She chooses, you you yeah. don't think it's because she wants to be around? No, her son. I think it's because she's stuck there. She doesn't want to be there. Like, I it was suspected because they found another gun in the trunk of her car. They thought she was gonna do it elsewhere, but for some reason she did it in the house. So it's like it was like sucking her in. It was weird. Wow. Do you know if there was any like plans to move after? Mm-mm. Like, was that? She had just bought the house. They owned this farmhouse, like on 72 acres of land, very successful ranch. Like she, there was no reason. Wow. Mm -hmm. Jeez. So it's, sorry, go, no, go ahead. I was going to say, do do you know like an age range of this woman? How old she was? About thirties or forties. Oh Something like that. Very young. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Is wow. that, and she looked young when you saw her. Yeah, it. she looked so young. She also looked sick, like very sickly, but not, she didn't have a disease or anything, but her cheeks were caved in. Her clothing was like falling off of her because it was like a dress. It looked like it was falling off of her. When you saw the picture, was it like spitting image from what you saw or was yes. it really? Just a little bit healthier, but yeah, same haircut, almost like everything was perfect. Scared the crap out of me. (laughs) How how did it make you feel when you heard that this person that was in your dream was real? I mean, it's not the first time it's happened, but the first time I felt like it felt like it was an out of body experience because I couldn't feel my feet, but I felt when I fell down the stairs. So when I woke up in my body next to my bed, it felt like I had fallen downstairs, but I didn't move. Wow. Did that feel like malicious? to you like she was trying to get you out of the house or no i think it was just like i saw her and i guess i freaked out a little bit and i stumbled like that's what it was is there there any possibility that she was kind of what's it called astro projecting maybe they're they're, maybe they're the plane that she's on just kind of crossed paths with your astro projection while you were uh, we saw each other we looked each other's in the in the eyes and that's when i fell so. Well, it sounds like you guys just crossed paths in that, in that extra plane. Yeah. Wow. So you feel like she actually saw you? No, we made eye contact and it was like we knew we were there together. That's what freaked me out. That's why I put it in the story. Wow. I wouldn't be able to stay in that house again. That's, that's, that's pretty insane. Wow. See, she never felt malicious. And that wasn't the first time I had known about something being up there because I actually had like a party or like a sleepover or whatever for my birthday. Didn't tell anybody about anything that was happening because it would freak them out. And a friend of mine woke up to go to the bathroom and she heard footsteps. So she was like, oh, okay, so someone is waiting for the bathroom. She came out, nothing was there, you know, whatever. Fell back asleep, same friend woke up to feet being right in front of her face. And they walked off to the corner and she never saw anything. Just saw feet? Yes, she saw feet walking. And she heard her walking to the corner where there was nothing but like, a window and she woke up and told me that and I didn't tell them anything so I was freaked out because obviously something had to happen I didn't tell them it was haunted has anyone considered trying to help her leave the home like cross over cross her over like or picture. not really <laughs> here's your 666 day notice <laughs> yeah. to get out <laughs> no not really I think I'm the only one that she was comfortable with showing herself to and everyone else is too afraid to do it. Like I said, it's but fuck nowhere. Very Catholic. Everybody's afraid of that kind of thing. They ignore it. So that's, I don't think anybody's going to try and help her. But what about you? I mean, you, yeah, have you ever you, tried to reach you, out? You, yeah, I you wouldn't feel know that how. she shouldn't be there. Right. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just curious. Again, I'm not trying to. Like, no, you're good. Not, you know, I mean, I know you're on trial right now, but I'm not trying to, <laughs> yeah. you know, cause an inquisition here. She's literally a witness. Yeah, she's literally, yeah, she is literally a witness. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I don't know. Just because if you feel that she's stuck there, Mm -hmm. then yeah, that's that's an interesting. Yeah, if I ever went back and I knew how to, I would. You know, why wouldn't I? So if we could bring someone with us, you know. (laughs) (laughs) House calls. Yeah, I mean, seriously though. Yeah, honestly, stuck. It's honestly that was something we considered and we were planning to do at the end of this year, and then uh, Ghost Adventures came out. Ghost Adventures house calls. Yeah. So we like. So we were like, eh, they 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 beat it. They beat us to it. Yep. Um, so we didn't do that. But we were considering doing do. something like that when we hear stories like that and yeah. going, we don't know what we're doing, right? Like, <laughs> we understand, but we don't know what we're doing. Like, yeah. We're not naive enough. But we can find people. Yeah, So. Yeah. absolutely. Like, I, I would question. definitely be interested in getting her out. So, some of the stuff that you said I can relate to because mm-hmm. I've had some similar things happen to me with how you felt. So when you say that, you know, time felt like it wasn't real, right? Could you explain that emotion, how it felt to you? 
it to me it's kind of like frozen in time it was like white space it was everywhere it was super bright and it was like the middle of the night but i could see everything around me clearly oh, and wow. nothing was moving and there were no sounds so it felt like time was frozen and that's the first and last time that's ever wow. happened to me it does sound like astral projection yeah it really yeah. does it does when i was um when i was in high school and this was you know when i was super into the ouija board and stuff i learned about astral projection and I had some people that were trying to teach me how to do it. And when I started practicing it, there was a day and I, I wasn't trying to do it. This was just a normal day, but I was, it was, you know, during the same time period of me learning how to do that. And my friends were coming to pick me up to take me like to the fair or something. And I remember going into my den mm -hmm. and I just passed out and I woke up in my room and I was home alone. And I woke up to like 20 missed calls. Like they were all in my house banging on the door. But I've, I've never understood why that happened, why I just randomly passed out and then yet woke up in my room. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was homeschooled, Matt. You think I was doing that? No, I was yeah. eating pizza rolls and then making a Totino's pizza right after, okay? So you're still in homeschool? Yeah, yeah. with the milky. Those I gotta drink all, my milky. Those I drink are all munchy foods, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> do, you, do you think uh, for a munchy food they're gonna be drinking milk? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Thank you for sharing. We we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank you for choosing my story randomly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I literally had never read it before. Quotation marks. Oh, that was a good, that was a good, like, uh, random yeah. pick. Seriously. That was really cool. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for sharing. Appreciate Everyone it. give it up. Give it up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we have time for a few questions. Yes. Okay. That we can that will these are literally uh, in here. Okay. Completely at random. Ooh. Let's pick one each, maybe. Yeah. Let's grab one out. Yes. Yeah. Any advice to get over stage fright, self confidence, insecurities? Michelle. Michelle. Mm. Michelle here? Uh yeah, I assume so. Is she not here? Oh shit. <laughs> 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 Go figure the person with stage fright was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because I do you know, sketch with myself. I've been thinking about doing YouTube, but I sort of with both. Okay. okay, that's yeah. fair. So, so in this particular circumstance, your stage fright is you feel like you are more reserved when you're making videos. More of a why would people want to watch me when there's all these numbers? Ah, so not necessarily stage fright. That is more of a of insecurity. A insecurity question. in the confidence. Well, it does spectrum. say insecurities in here, so yeah, it makes sense. I mean, no matter what, you offer something then that nobody else can. Just being you, and you might not think people might want to watch that, but I mean, think of your friends or family that already love you as a person. There's seven billion people in the world. Some of those people are really going to like you and what you have to say and your perspective on things. You just might not know it. Very true. That was a motivational speech right there. Yeah, you can wild. be whatever you want to be. You can be a ghost hunter, an OnlyFans model, whatever you want to be. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Hey. Real quick, if uh, he burned the bridge, <laughs> let, let me ask I was you on your side. You're never gonna make it. Cancel the shit. <laughs> Thirteen years experience. How many? How many? How many places have you been locked alone in? Uh, fourteen. Matt, you're off the team. Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Where I make up Actually, two. Hold on. Wait, I'm gonna backtrack. No, that's like a one a year average. Matt does like six a year. Matt, you're back on the team. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> So pretty much for me, when I first started social media, when I was younger, I was like 16 or so. I was the exact same way. I started posting content and honestly, let's take it back to the Vine days. That, that's where I very first started with social media. And I posted Vines for probably four or five months and I would get maybe 15 to 20 likes on my content. And I loved making content. It made me happy, but for some reason, the likes drived me kind of more towards like a, I don't know, like a depressive route on it for some reason. It just made me like, why, why would I want to do this if not a lot of people are watching it and supporting me? But it was my friends and family. They were like, we watch it. Like we share your stuff on Facebook. Like that's why I literally said in the song how my mom shared my song on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> that's a true story, <laughs> seriously. And I remember I was probably 
half a year into posting on Vine, and I finally got a video with 100 likes. And it just, you know, completely changed everything. And so I guess what I could say is you really just got to try. You just got to give it a shot. And then, like, once you reach a small, like, milestone that you've set as a goal, like, you'll just feel so good. And it'll just keep pushing you to go more and more. And then I used to be kind of scared on camera. Like I used to be like, hey, what's up? Oh, well, I, I actually, I am still like that right now. That's exactly <laughs> what you're like. But I, I'm more genuine now. Like back in the day, it felt kind of forced. Like I was trying to be a character. But now I'm, this is just truly how I am. And it's just, it's, it's like a lifestyle. And it's super and th- annoying. No, it's not. No, it is not. My mom loves my videos. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll keep mine super short and like maybe this will help you I, I don't know it's just how my brain works but like I wholeheartedly have never asked like why would people watch me because I only made videos because I love making videos like that's why I do it like I loved jumping into fountains and doing cannonballs right on vine like I loved doing pranks like I loved making these videos. I love traveling. So to me, it doesn't even matter to me who watches me or who doesn't watch me because the fact of the day is I love what I'm doing regardless. And I also love the video making process as well. So if you love the video making process and you love ghost hunting, then that is your why. Fuck yeah. the why would people watch me. Just it's your life. Make the videos you want. Have fun and do it. And if people watch you, cool and people watch you and like give you basically enough views where you can start going to cooler and bigger locations amazing but we would still be doing this if we still only had 50,000 people watching us we'd just be doing like smaller locations that are that we can afford yeah but we'd still do it because we love doing this so maybe try and flip that over and ask yourself why do you want to make the videos not why people would watch your videos matt okay See, you wouldn't have to force me to sit alone in a place. <laughs> I've had about enough of okay. you, Michelle. Uh, God yeah. damn it. But at the same time, I kind of love yeah. it. It's really fun. It'd be kind of boring if I was like, go alone. You're like, okay. <laughs> like, it's kind of fun to be like, Matt, go alone. He's like, no. I'm like, Matt, go alone. Take your shirt off. And he's yeah. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bitch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the reason why And that's what muscles. I have to offer. Of yeah. <laughs> why would people want to watch me? Because I'm a baby. How do you get your muscles so big and so strong? There's no one else. No, 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 it doesn't That's say that. Not. It doesn't say that. What it says. No. Uh, it, that was a good catch, dude. No. That was like I money. Know. Thank you. You were so Are good. Are you going to continue investigating or do you plan to move on and do something different with the channel in a couple of years? Fantastic question. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said the, earlier, the the plan that we we were talking about this for seriously a really really long time yeah. about doing house calls and finding people who had haunted houses such as yours where they didn't necessarily know why it was haunted right in your case you're, you know the the thing like the action that was taken but not necessarily what led to it and seeing if we can team up with professionals and actually like that was the plan for the channel moving forward yeah now. We have so many videos filmed ahead of time. Like we're actually really far ahead, yeah. which is nice because now we have more time to kind of think about what we want to do. Mm-hmm. I think the balance between you and I and the rest of the team is I'm always trying to move things to the next level, the next step, even though we are totally fine where we are. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be ghost hunting until, you know, I'm 115 years old. Well, at that point, you'll be the ghost hunting. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. I will be the ghost hunting. I will be a ghost hunting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I would love to do this for the rest of my life. You know, I started doing it when I was a little kid and didn't know why. And I definitely think that, you know, there is a reason that I got into it accidentally so young with what we're doing now. Like it literally is like my life. You yeah. know, I, I can't imagine not ghost hunting and i just i want more answers i want more evidence like we've gotten so much evidence that you know i'm convinced about the afterlife i'm convinced that ghosts are real and demons are real like we know this but i just want more like i would love to like go to my room and just be like hey cheryl and like she like comes walking like out of the bathroom yep. and she's like hey Corey, and then flies into the attic how do you think devin would feel about that you just have cheryl yeah, who's cheryl, yeah. Yeah, who's cheryl yeah. huh? it was oh, a phase yeah she's just in the Corey. attic huh oh, yeah. exactly we're taking a break wait for the record you know i have multiple friends that we could do that with we have annie 
You know, we no. dip it. No, 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 no. That's oh, that's the Andy see. And dip I good like good spirits. You like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> There is a little difference, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you guys I understand like our all. concern now? I, <laughs> do you understand the real I do fear? not. I do not discriminate. I am open to anyone on the other side who wants to communicate, whether good or bad. I believe everyone deserves a second chance. And I'm like you, when I see a stray dog, I pet it. And I hope it bites you. I hope it bites your and hand off what? of rabies. And guess what? And if it bites me, I would understand because no one's shown it love. You feel like the devil deserves a second chance? Even God didn't do that. God didn't do what? On God. De- on God, he didn't do that. <laughs> We actually, we don't know. God might have been like, Satan, again? Really? This is the third time this week. He was again? a banished angel. Come on, Sadie. He's <laughs> not Sadie. quit doing this. His name is not Sadie. <laughs> Sadie. <laughs> Changing religion. What's your question, Corey? What do you Ooh. got? This is a little bit towards you. Okay. Ooh. Why did you try to get possessed at the Queen Mary? Why? Great, From Sean. Great question. That is a great question. I love that these are pulled at random and there's still like legitimately like 20 more in here. That's yeah. The reason why yeah. is that was our third time back. First time was obviously just the giant elaborate prank that I had planned for months and months out. Thank you. And then second time and then third time. Um, and at that point, I felt like I wanted to push the bounds. And to be f- all, completely honest, I did not seek out a Kelta. I was on, I run these things called travel with TFL trips. I was in Costa Rica. And on the last night of the trip, uh, one, one of the ladies was like, hey, just so you know, I practice in this space and I know these people that have been doing this for like 20, 25 years. And I went like, okay, cool. Like some of the information, I'll look at it. And then I looked at it and I watched their videos and I looked how long they've been doing it for. And I reached out to them and I had the genuine conversation of like, could we try this? Can we make me the guinea pig and make sure that everyone else is safe? Like an experiment. Yeah, because the way every single video starts is welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal, dedicated to all things paranormal, unknown, unsolved, haunted, mysterious, might scare you, might terrify you, might possess you, right? That's how we start every video. And I was like, sure, I'll try. I didn't, I genuinely, that was never a thought in my head. I didn't even know that voluntary possession was a thing. I had no idea. So when I saw the opportunity, I'm like, well, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Hey, don't say that. Was it worth it? Sure. Do you think that you were possessed? Audio says yes. Objection. <laughs> what do you object to? <laughs> Wait, I just agreed. I just agreed that? with you. <laughs> and it just felt right timing. Okay. Myself. But even just for the time after. Yeah. Like you I, feel I, we diff- didn't, we didn't know about that audio or I didn't know about that audio. I, I think uh, editor did yeah. prior. So like, I don't know. I thought it was fine. I like. I, I didn't know the conversation you had at the Super Bowl party like a little bit after. I didn't know any of that stuff. So yeah. I feel fine. I don't know. I think it was worth it. It was. It was cool to try. She and- came up to me at the Super Bowl party and goes, "You need to watch over Elton." So you know what's even more fun about that? I didn't know she said that, <laughs> and I didn't edit Whaley until after we had filmed with her again at the Sally house. Oh. So even at the Sally house, I didn't know about any of that. So it makes me wonder, did she actually know and just didn't tell us because she wanted to see the experiment and see what would happen? Wow. And maybe that why, oh, dude, that would be why she was so willing every time you FaceTimed her to ask her for help. Because she was like, how is he? Is every it, is, time, is, 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 every yeah. time he would FaceTime her at like any time, it didn't matter at the Warren Museum, he FaceTimed her. Like it didn't matter. She would answer and be like, what do you need? I'm here to help. Maybe that's why. That's concerning. Holy shit. She did a TikTok social experiment <laughs> on you. <laughs> TikTok. And we're still living through it right Worst now. Worst trend ever. <laughs> What's trending on TikTok right now? Voluntary possession. Yeah. It's all the rage right now. I think it was worth it. I think it's really cool. I think like. I mean, you you know, like I ran to you when I heard the audio and I played it for you. We played oh. it over and over and over oh, and over and over Oh, you were, you were almost crying. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think it's worth it. It's what the channel is about and what I've said from day one that I want to do with it is just push bounds and see what can happen. You are very brave. Yeah, you don't have to go through all that. All I want out of this experience, I would be fully happy if we were like, are there any ghosts here? And you just hear in the distance like, yup. I'd be like, cool. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have just put a cat ball on the table and like, yeah, man, I would have believed it. Yeah. I don't know. Push bounds. Let's yeah. do it. You know what That's I mean? really interesting. That experience compared to what we saw here and how your eyes were. 
Yeah, man. Creepy coincidence. And, yeah. and to be honest, now I understand the fear you guys had because I genuinely did not know the backstory. So I was just like, y'all are just overreacting. Like, I'm chill. When have I ever overreacted in 50 investigations? Name 30. I can name 49. <laughs> <laughs> there was this one time I was pretty chill. I was pretty chill. Which one? Which one? At the seven before Which one? the investigation? Was it, was it, <laughs> which one? Was it Blair House where you were like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going outside. I'm not going to be in the house. Which one? Yeah. Was it Sarah Gordo when you like whined? and was, you wouldn't uh, get off the bed? Was it no, it was, you know what, which, which one, one it was? It was the very last one in Ohio that we did where I was in the woman's, uh, like, uh, the woman's <laughs> floor, that side yeah, of the room, yeah. trapped in that one room. You were just at some yeah. woman's house that you met on Tinder and you were just like not doing <laughs> yeah. the investigation. Yeah, 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 that one, that yeah. one. It was he very spiritual. Older women. <laughs> All right, here is the last <laughs> question. This is, act, yeah, this is kind of poetic for a way to end uh, the evening. Where do you think we go when we die? Is hell real? Is reincarnation real? And this is a question from Laura. I think the most interesting part of that is what we've learned from people who've been doing this like their whole lives and about uh, intelligent ghosts versus ghosts that go in through repetition. I think repetition is one of the scariest things to me. I don't know if you guys know about it, but there are certain ghosts that we've perceived that go through a certain activity over and over like and they're on over loop. again. Exactly, like on a loop. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't know. I, I guess I got to keep an open mind to that because I'm not exactly sure what that would mean if that's after life and you're going through a repetition the entire time. Do you break through from that? I'm not exactly sure. You have to give a yes or no answer. Do you believe hell and heaven is real? Yes or no? Don't think, just answer. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I just don't know. I believe in God. Um, I hope there's a heaven. I really hope so. I think the ideal scenario is you go, you go to heaven for like 100 years, then reincarnation. Then you come back and you do it again. And that'd be like ideal. You think people are like mad? They're like, they've been in heaven, all you can eat buffet, many patties every day. And then like, oh, now you got to go back and be a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty <laughs> awesome life. You ever, right, you, ever, you ever go to Hawaii and come back? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, this sucks. Yeah, you're just choking on a straw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 no. But then, but then, but then, but then, but stray dogs. He got is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hates turtles, loves stray dogs. This oh, guy. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, de I definitely think heaven's real. I, I really hope so, man. I think it's real. I know, I know you, 100%, I know that from you. Yeah. Hell is the, is the real dilemma. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's, cause it's like, it, it depends on what you believe, I guess, relig religion wise, if, if hell is, cause if, if you believe in, in the Bible and Christianity, hell is the worst possible thing you could ever imagine for all of eternity. It's just scary to think what makes you go to hell. If it's the worst possible human beings that you, that, you know, did nothing but evil and bad in their life, it makes sense for them to have to go through that. But if you believe in just sinning from the Bible, like cursing makes you go to hell, I'll see y'all there, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's so I, why I, I just don't know. Hmm, I've that's, that's, never heckin' cussed. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is, that is a very good perspective on it. De de defining what the parameters are for people that get to s that sent to hell. Because if you do drugs, then all yeah. the best musicians are in hell. Yeah, no, that's absolutely. What, that's what, you know, that's like, that, I want to go there. But you did, what, what do you think happens after you die? I think it could be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it, it could be what you believe in. You poop first. I know that. Re after I'm you sorry. Die, yeah. What? Yeah, when you die, you poop. You, you think that's so you can float to heaven easier? <laughs> wow, they le you leave all that evil here on earth. Yeah. <laughs> God's like, I don't want that shit up here. <laughs> and going to hell. I don't know. I, I, I kind of I kind of just think that whatever you believe in happens. Like that you kind of nice. you, you know how you kind of manifest your own future. Sure. Yeah. Like yeah. it could be the same thing. You manifest in you know your own afterlife. Like can, whatever you believe in is where you go to. Can I tell you? Wor I think worst possible scenario. You said uh, repetition will be bad. Yeah. I think full consciousness with shut eyeballs. Full huh. consciousness. Ooh. You're floating in nothingness. Wait, it's so a blind uh -oh. ever. Well, no, no, but there's, there's, <laughs> but he's but you're saying just, there's, you're, just, you're yeah. buried. You're, you're by under. yourself. Oh, okay. oh, 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 I see what you're saying. I, I see what you're saying. It's like, so you're literally, you're buried and that's, that's like, yeah, get your out. body is completely done. You that's the movie. Get out. Is that not the movie? Get out. We go into the, the, the place where they hypnotize you. Is that not get out when they float the away? The sunken place? Yeah. Yeah. Is that all oh, kind of, yeah, it's a sunken place. I'm right? still living the life, but okay. Yeah. Like that'd, like, be, that'd be the scariest possible scenario where you're just in a box forever. And you have just nothing but you and your thoughts, Elton. Yeah, I think I think my my answer is I've always been grounded more so in the scientific end of things. Like I just believe that 
we're organisms and we're matter and we're really cool that we exist and we have consciousness and we've evolved. But at the same time, it's really cool when I look at like the James Webb telescope and I see that like they're discovering other things and expanding the universe. And I, my, my whole perspective when we do these investigations and why I'm not afraid is I still believe that there are anomalies. So like that's why I believe that these things that are happening are real. But I believe that there's just anomalies the same way like there's defects in organisms that grow and evolve and some can do crazy different things. And can, like, I just believe that there are anomalies out there and if you can find more consistency within them and then eventually you find different ways to communicate with them, I think that's really cool. Hmm. But I don't believe that there is a heaven or a hell. I, I kind of like the same thing. Whatever you believe in is, is where you'll go because that's where your mind is set towards. But yeah, I'm kind of yeah. just like in the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm agnostic. I'm not here nor there. I'm just kind of like, I float around and I think it's, yeah. it's just cool to observe and find ocean answers. of the ocean. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you all so much for, yes. for coming out tonight, for spending your evening with us for, this is the first one we've ever done. Our first show. I, I, hey! I, I enjoy it. Let's go. Wow. Hell yeah. Well, that was Why the, the one. That Where was it? <laughs> Where was it? It was up by the doll, dude. Dude, it was up there. It was literally, it was sitting up here. Look, it's it's this. It's this and it, it was sitting, yeah, it was sitting like that. But it's never, I, I'm in here, oh, dude, look. Look, look, it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you. Call Patty. It's you. Call Patty. Look at that, look at that. Dude, look at that. It's you. No way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't ring that bell. Stop. It's 10 years. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 10 years off your life. Yo, that's actually not moving. No, dude. That is... Why the fuck did that fall? Damn it, dude. That's why I don't come in here. <laughs> that's so funny. That's so fucking funny.